Hello! If you are running VBA macros very often, I'm sure you are running into the issue when you want to reuse the same piece of code in multiple macros. Unfortunately, Visual Basic for Application Studio doesn't allow to add the modules by link like you can do in Visual Studio for C Sharp and VB.NET. In this video, I want to demonstrate how it is possible to create a library of common functions to use them across multiple macros. For demonstration purposes, I will download the sample VBA macro which fills custom properties. Here I have the fill custom properties function which writes some custom properties to the model. I want to call the same function from different macro. Instead of copying and pasting it, I would rather create a library DLL. I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. You can use any other versions including the free express versions. For this purpose, I'm going to use VB.NET language because it's very similar to VBA by syntax. However, you still can use C Sharp or C++. I need to create the new library project and give it some reasonable name. Uh, let's rename the main class as well. If you are experienced user of VBA, you may know what the classes are. If not, do not worry. Just consider this class as the analog of module in VBA. I need to add SideWords references. You may add the same ones as used in your macro. As you can see, after pasting all the code, Visual Studio automatically adjusted the code from VBA to VB.NET. It removed the set keyword and added the parentheses. This is the difference of syntaxes between these two languages. VB.NET language uses the .NET framework, while the VBA macro is a COM-based application. In order to allow COM interact with .NET, you need to make sure of two things. You need to create a COM type library (TLB) file from your .NET DLL. You can either run the Redust utility and pass the TLB key or just select the option in the project settings. Now the TLB file is generated automatically. You need to define interface whose public function can be accessible from .NET. Interface is a contract with the methods and properties you need to implement in the inherited classes. Let's add new interface module. It is a good practice to name your interface with a capital I at the beginning. Interfaces don't contain the implementation, but the definition only. I need to put the functions and their syntaxes, which I want to access from the macro, into interface. Now I need to implement this interface in the class. I should use the implements keyword to declare that the class implements the interface. I also need to place the implements keyword after every function which is the implementation of the interface. It is done now. Let's build the project. It produces several files. Important files are DLL files and the TLB file. 
Let's switch to SolidWorks and create new macro. I need to add the link to my TLB library I've just created. Now I can access this function. From now, there are only three simple steps remaining to make it work. First, you need to declare the library variable. You should be using namespaces while declaration. Second, use new keyword to create an instance of a library. Third, call the method and pass the parameters. Let's run the macro. As you can see, my properties are populated. If you do any changes in your original VB.NET library and rebuild the projects, all macros which use in this function will be always up to date. This technique can be also very handy when you want to use some functionality which is available in .NET but not available in native VBA. Thank you for your attention.